each of your little patches of right angle weave or um, beginning of the, the um, band is because we're going to be attaching it this direction okay and we're going to be attaching it to the center four millimeter fire up uh, uh, drug bead are uh, depending on what you're using Swarovski's pearl or uh, Bicone or fire polish so you're going to attach it to the center bead okay and for me it's this four millimeter drug bead and so when we attach it we're going to be attaching it along here so when you think about this your sides are not going to be polar I mean they're not going to be a mirror image okay they are it, it will be fine, it'll look fine, but they are not going to be a mirror image. So, what I like to do is I like to just, let's just start off with finding the best bead to attach it to, okay? And what we are going to be doing is we are on this one side. So when we do this, we want to take a look. And when we think of the opposite side, we want to just take our, our needle and go across from one side to the next. There we go. And let's see here. Let's see about this here. How does this look? I like that one. All right, so on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just attach it. So I, I'm not gonna attach it to the bead uh, that I have my needle through, but I'm gonna attach it to the bottom. Let me just get here, through here. And let me get a little closer. This will be easier. So the two delicas that my needle is going through. Can you see that? There we go. That's those are the two delicas I'm going to be attaching to on here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach one leg from one side of the drug bead and then another leg on the other drug bead and one leg is going to be attached to this 11 0 Delica and one is going to be attached to this 11 0 Delica and each leg I'll just be going in one side of the Delica and coming out and going back through those legs to stabilize it okay so what I'm going to do is I am going I'm coming out of here, let me just back up. There we go. So I'm coming out of the center bead right here. And this is my four millimeter drug bead. Okay. I'm going to pick up one 11 Delica, one two millimeter uh, Chinese crystal rondelle, and then um, another 11 Delica. And again, you can use two millimeter fire polish, bicone, um, uh, pearl whatever around two millimeter bead um, I'm just using the Chinese crystal rondelle and I'm just gonna slide that down and you want to be considerate of what side so it's coming out of here I want to use these two beads here so I'm coming in this 11 0 Delica and on the opposite side of that Delica I'm just going to come out oops that's way too funny all right sorry about that technical difficulties <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead just slide everything down and I threaded my needle of the other side of the thread that we the tail so that's the thread I'm working on by the way there we go there we go there 
so we're looking at this upside down now so I'm coming out move this out of my way I'm gonna go through that same leg that we created So I just want you to see what we just did. There we go. We hold that up. So if you look at this, we're coming out of this pearl. We came out. This is the back side, so it looks on the opposite side. We went up. We went through the, the Delica this way. And then we came out on the opposite side and then went back down. Now we're going to go through that four millimeter pearl to the opposite side to put on the other leg. There we go. You can call it a leg. You can call it a prong. I just made up that terminology. I don't know if that's the correct terminology. If there's a correct term to use for this, please let me know. Um, so I'm now coming out of this four millimeter pearl on the opposite side okay so I'm gonna put on my other leg so I'm picking up a four millimeter I'm sorry I'm picking up 11 Odelica my two millimeter uh, crystal rondelle and my 11 Odelica okay now so I, I skip that center bead in the center and I'm going to go through this Delica over here so there's basically one bead that I skipped in between and this is going to be on the bottom of the Leveno Delica peyote part so I'm coming in one side and going out the other side okay and I'm going to go through that prong again or leg whatever you want to call it there we go I'm going to go through that again So we did the same thing. So we came up on one side, went through that Delica, go through the opposite side. And then we're just going to go through that four millimeter pearl again. And we're going to reinforce that stitch. There we go. That we just did. And I'm going to back up so you can see better. There we go. What I'm doing, just reinforcing it. Going to head down the prong. And it's a little easier to see from the back because of our embellishment so that's why I got it upside down going through that four millimeter pearl back up that prong Let me just turn this around sure things don't get caught and let's not create knots while we're doing it there we go there we go
toggle it up here. There we go. All right, now we need to do the other side, okay? So we need to determine where we need to go. So we just take our needle by the center of that prong, which for us is a crystal. And when we do this, we can estimate where our, our center is. Mark that, so it's about this delica. We flip it over. And the difference is, let me just get a little closer so you can see. We're going to do things just a little different. Back up so you can see what I'm talking about. So our center from the opposite side is right here. And as you can see, our two delicas, instead of being on the bottom, are going to be in the center. So we're going to just have a different spot where we're going to be putting them on. So we'll be using this Delica. Let's see if I can get my needle through the other one. And that Delica. So it'll be in the center versus the bottom. So where my needle is going through, those are the two Delicas we're going to be putting our legs or prong on. Okay, so this will be one leg and this will be the other leg. So go ahead and grab your other small portion of your band and let's go ahead and get started on that. So, there we go. I'm just going to All right, so now we need to do the other side. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I'm gonna go ahead, pick up 11 Odelica and a two, millim two millimeter uh, crystal rondelle. And I am coming already, whoops. Let's go ahead and back up. So I'm coming out of my center four millimeter drug bead. You get a little bit closer to the center. Okay, and so when I line this up, I know this here is my center. This is the one Delica I want to come out, in and out of, and this is the other Delica. Whoops. Let me see if I can get a little closer for that part. Whoops. Okay. So I know this here is my center on the opposite side in between the two crystals so just under the crystals is going to be where I'm attaching so my one leg will be attached to this Delica right under the crystal and in this case um, my other Delica will be under this crystal now it may be different for you depending on where you attach the other side use your needle to determine where your center is and keep in mind on one side you'll be attaching at the bottom and the other side you will be attaching in the center so it just depending on where you did it it'll just affect you that way and the reason why it's one side is on the bottom and the other side is in the center is that you have an uneven number so remember we have 15 our, our beads are in groups of 15 and that's the reason why if it was in 16 it would be the same for both sides so it just depends all right so I'm gonna go ahead and attach my first leg because I have all my beads on there we go and let me just back up so you can see what I'm doing there we go So 
So I'm going to go through those beads again. The same beads I just went out of. And then I'm going to go through my four millimeter. There we go. I don't want to scratch this bead, so I'm just going to. There we go. Now I'm on the opposite side of the four millimeter. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on the other leg. And then I'm going to go through that leg or prong. And if there's a, if I'm using the incorrect terminology, or please let me know. Um, I just made up that terminology, so that's what I'm calling it. And now I'm going to go through that four millimeter again. And then I'm just going to reinforce both sides. go And go through the prong and the leg again. Back through the four millimeter drop bead. And then through the other prong. Do a little tug, hold things in place. There we go. Reinforce the stitch. Now, right now, I'm just reinforcing it twice. I will most likely go back and reinforce it again later on. However, at this point, I'm just going to hold off until I get my embellishment on. So um, it's up to you how you want to do that. I'm just going to make sure I have enough room to go through with my embellishment before I go through again on reinforcing because things will get tight so i'll just play things by ear there all right so we've attached our embez embezzlement so the next part what we're going to do is we're going to finish the length of the band and you already know how to do that so on both sides um, just go ahead and continue the right angle weave units that we were doing beforehand all right, so, um, and get to the length that you want. Now, keep in mind, you will be adding a clasp, and you will also, um, so for me, um, I added a three prong. I could have easily added just my a typical single magnetic clasp due to the way I did this part. However, I still 
I like the length and the width of this particular clasp. So that's why I went ahead and went with it. Um, when I was initially designing the bracelet, I did attach each little prong thing with a split ring to each of the drucks. However, I didn't feel like it laid I feel like I have more movement this way and I just like it this way so you may ultimately want to do it a little different than I did it's up to you this would be a great one for a toggle if you're doing a toggle um, it's up to you how you want to end up doing but this is the class I went with and I just oddly enough I like it <laughs> so um, instead of having it attached directly to the four millimeter pearls so I feel like there's a little bit more give and a little bit more leeway and I feel like the split rings lay a little bit better that's ultimately the reason why I felt like the jump rings because it is a magnetic class for some reason they they weren't it felt a little stiff when they laid um, and that could just be my perception and the way I like how things feel and move. So things to consider when you're putting your bracelet together. Um, but go ahead and finish up the right angle weave units from both sides. So let's back up here. Oh, I can't any for this. So finish up both sides, but leave room for this portion that we'll be adding the clasp to. Um, so keep that in mind. Now the clasp and both of these, I they add, if you look here for me, they add an extra inch. Now if you're gonna do things a little different and your clasp is a little different, you gotta take that in consideration. So how you're gonna choose to end your bracelet will have an impact on your overall length. So keep that in mind. Finish up your right angle weave units. Meet me back here. We'll get started on the embellishments and adding the clasp. Okay? Take care, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we are ready to go ahead and get started on our embellishment. And when we look at this bracelet, um, the embellishment in itself really is not a difficult embellishment. Um, I kind of played around with what I did and didn't like. And um, I found that uh, when it came to the 2 millimeter fire polish, I didn't care for it in the center. It didn't sit right. Um, but it does sit very nicely on the sides. It has a little bit more room to sit. So it works there. Um, and when I initially was my first uh, prototype of this bracelet, um, and and again, this is different than the um, initial prototype. This is my second prototype. Um, I had at the very end um, had separate connections to the split rings that connected to the clasp, and they they looked fine. I, um, they didn't look bad or anything like that. But I thought when I was making the second prototype that maybe the flow would be a little better and it would just sit better. And I just I ended up working. And so when you find something that works, you use it, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do. So when we are looking at this, is we're... We're basically adding just a little bit of embellishment between the beads and at the ends. And that's, you know, um, it's not difficult. It's a pretty straightforward. And so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I ended up doing is uh, to get started on the embellishment. I made my way to, I made the length of my bracelet first to the length that I wanted. Once I got the length on both sides that I wanted, I then made sure that at least on this side, I'm at the very end, okay, coming out of one of the three beads here for the clasp, okay? And then to also help me out with my clasp and keeping things um, and the jump rings and everything sitting correctly. One thing I have done, let me just back up so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So one of the things I did is on a paper clip, I just, after I put on my jump rings, 
I um, just s strung through with a paper clip so that way when I I do my beads and everything and I put it through the the jump rings won't be twisted or turned in an odd angle or anything like that and I'll just keep everything in the correct sitting correctly and it'll look nice once it sits plus I got to keep in mind that with this particular class one will be sitting on top and one will be sitting on the bottom so for me and it might be different for you because it'll be dependent on your class but for me I just want to take that in consideration I need one sitting this way and on the opposite side I need one sitting that way all right, so let's go ahead and get started. And for the embellishment, you will need your two millimeter uh, Chinese crystals rondelles and your 11 odelicas. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm coming out of this bead here. I'm gonna put a two millimeter Chinese crystal rondelle. Now you can also use two millimeter fire polish and two millimeter bicones. Even, you know, you could use any two millimeter bead. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my first crystal. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the second. So I'll have a crystal here and a crystal here. And that's going to be the same on the opposite side, on the, uh, on the opposite band, I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and put on three Delicas, one two millimeter uh, Chinese crystal, and nine 11 Delicas. Then let's go ahead and put on our clasp. There we go. And I just want to think about the direction I'm going. When I put this on, there we go. I can go ahead and remove my paper clip. So the reason why I did that is that the type of uh, clasp that I'm using so one side has to be facing down, the other has to be facing up. All right, and then I'm gonna pick up, so right now I have three Delicas and one two millimeter fire polish. Whoops. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up another two millimeter, I'm sorry, two millimeter Chinese crystal rondelle and three eleven o Delicas, okay. Then I'm going to come through here and just go all the way through. I'm going to go through my two millimeter uh, Chinese crystal rondelle and my four millimeter pearls. And you want to make sure you go through all the beads and you're not skipping anything. So if you have to go through a couple at a time, that's perfectly fine. There we go. All right. And then I'm just going to go through all my beads again. And this is where it's really important not to skip anything. And if you're uncertain, just go through a couple at a time. Also check the other side. Hold up the beads against your fingers. Everything to you can do to make sure you're not skipping anything. There we go. lotion on my hands 
we're all just washing our hands so much, which is good, but it really dries out the hands. And I've always had issues with my hands being try, uh, dry because of the type of work I do. I do cleaning, so. Yep, dries out the hands. All right, so I am just going to take the time to go through. You want to go through, I would say, at least a minimum of three times, um, if not more. Right now, I'm just going to go through three times because I can go through it later on. And this way, I'm also ensuring I want to make sure I can still get through these beads while I put on all of my other embellish as I put on my other embellishments. After I get some of the other embellishments and reinforcement of those, um, then I can always go through here again if there's still room. All right. So now that I'm through that, there we go. I want to just go ahead and move all the way down to the very end. There we go. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be adding um, a combination of the two millimeter uh, Chinese crystal and uh, 11 Odelicas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my first four millimeter pearl. So I want to be coming out of one of the ones on the side. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead, pick up a crystal, and then go through the next four millimeter. Um, I don't. I think I might have said pearl, but I believe these ones are drugs. Sorry about that. You can be using Swarovski's pearls as well. All right. Now I'm going to pick up two eleven o. Delicas. Then I'm going to pick up a two millimeter Chinese crystal and then two eleven o Delicas. So all I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm working my way down here and I'm just going through on the sides here the four millimeter pearls, but and as I do that, I pick up a crystal, and then next time I pick up two 11 Odelicas, and then a crystal, and then two 11 Odelicas. And I just keep repeating that, and then get up to this point, put in your last one here, and then when you're coming out of here, meet me back, and I'll show you the next step, to, step okay? All right, so meet me back here after you've done it. And again, you're just rotating every other. So crystal to 11 Odelicas, crystal to 11 Odelicas, and so on, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so we're ready for the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up a combination of 11 Odelicas and 2 mil millimeter crystals come from this four millimeter drug bead and then enter into this four millimeter drug bead okay so the pattern is pick up two 11 odelicas and then just set off to the side five crystals because that's the total number we're going to be using then pick up one two millimeter crystal then pick up two 11 odelicas and then pick up your second crystal. Then pick up two 11 Odelicas. Then pick up your third crystal. Then pick up two more of your Delicas. Whoops. And then pick up your fourth crystal. Then pick up two more. Delicas, and then pick up your fifth and final crystal, then pick up two more of your Delicas. There we go. Move this over here. So, right now, I'm coming out from here, from this bead here, and then I'm going in 
through here. And then I'm just going to go reverse order. So if your last um, bead in front of this section here was Delica's, put on Delica's. If your last um, bead that you put on before this long piece here, the um, was a crystal, put on a crystal. So depending on what you had before we just put on this um, combination of Delica's and crystals, the drug bead before that, for me it's this one. Let me get a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So I'm talking about um, the set of beads or the bead um, before this drug bead. Okay, the final drug bead. And here I have two 11 Delicas. So over here on the opposite side, I'm going to put on two 11 Delicas. If my last one over here was crystals, I'm going to go ahead and put on crystals. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to pick up the two. There we go. Go back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I got two 11 Odelicas. Go through that drug bead. We're just going to do the same thing as we did on the other side. And then I'm going to put on my crystal. So go ahead and and then after the crystal, two 11 Odelicas. And we're just going through the drug beads on this side. And then crystal. And then just repeat that all the way down until here. So don't put any beads after this very end here. Your last bead will be right here right before the final drug bead. So you'll go through the final drug bead and you won't be putting any additional beads on until you meet me back here and we'll go through putting on the clasp on this side, okay? So finish up along here on the side, the one side. Meet me back here after you finish that part and what you wanna do is just meet me back here once you've gone through this drug bead, okay? All right. All right. So right now I'm coming out of this bead here. I want, just like the other side, I want to be coming out of one of these three beads, preferably this one or that one. So I'm just going to follow the natural thread path of the right angle weave, so I'm not creating a new one. I'm coming out of here now. So I'm going, and I'm going in this direction. So I'm going to go ahead, pick up a two millimeter crystal. I'm going to go through the uh, center drug bead. Then I am going to pick up another two millimeter crystal and go through that very end drug bead. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up three 11 Odelicas, one two millimeter crystal and then a total of nine uh, 11 Odelicas. I'm just going to do three at a time so I don't lose count and I don't miss count. There we go. So I go ahead, slide that down. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my clasp conscientious on how I need to do so. I have it on my little paper clip because uh, this one has to be facing uh, on the opposite direction as the other one just because of the type of clasp it is. So, ta-da! Verify that I put it on correctly. Yes, because I am notorious for doing it wrong, especially, you know, towards the end of the evening and I'm getting tired. So now that I got that on, I can go ahead and pick up one more two millimeter crystal and then three more 11 Odelicas. There we go. And if you ultimately you want to do this a little different, you can. I mean, let's be honest, there's no one way of doing anything. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through my drugs and crystals down here. The one thing I like about this is that um, when I'm doing the right angle weave here at the very end, I can just add my class and it just goes through so nice. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead, see how many times I can get through before I need to start a new thread. And you just wanna make sure you're going through all the beads that your thread is not interloping between the split rings or the, um, you know, in a, that the, the thread stays in between the, the beads and so forth. There we go. Voila. Tug on this a little bit. There. Now I'm going to go through, I think I can get through one more time. My thread's getting a little short, but I think I can make it. There we go. And you want to go through at least three or four times. I, again, I think on this side, partly because my thread's coming towards the end. I'm just gonna go through three times. This will allow me to continue to add my embellishment and reinforce everything. And then if I still have room at the end, then I can go through without worry, you know, because sometimes you can run out of room, especially with dealing with, if you're working with smaller hole beads, and that can become an issue. So. I just want to make sure and leave room for myself later on. Um, a couple of things you can do is you can always move down to a smaller needle, which is one of the reasons why I do like to work with a, um, a 12, but you can also work with a 13. That, if you ever need to, and it just makes your life a little easier, I just like to keep a 13 off to the side. Um, otherwise, most of my work I do with a 12 or even a 10. So I was able to go through and now I'm just gonna um, go ahead and meet me back here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of half knots and uh, get a new thread started, okay? But meet me back here and then we'll continue to work on the embellishment here, okay? So I'll be right back after I start a new thread and we'll keep going. All right, so now that we got our other side of our class done, now we need to uh, do the embellishment on this side. And honestly, I mean, for most of you, you guys probably can just go ahead and move on, but what we're going to be doing is exactly what we did on this side. So now we're just gonna do it on the opposite side. So we are going to go ahead. Now for me, I, I started off with a two millimeter fire crystals. So I want to be exactly the way I was on the opposite side. So um, for me, I have the exact same number of columns of um, right angle weaves on both sides of the bracelet. Um, for size, if you have a slight difference, um, you may have to do things differently. But what you're going to want to do is that if you ended this side over here with a crystal, start with a crystal. If you ended it with a 211 Odelica, start with a 211 Odelica. And we're just going to swap crystal. Uh, 11 Odelicas, Crystals, 11 Odelicas, and then go back and forth. So it's the same thing. And just to make it clear, I'm just going to go in just a little closer. There we go. There we go. So I will be putting on from this drug bead, I'm coming out of right here. Oops, my fat finger keeps getting in the way. I'm coming right out of here and I'm going into here and I picked up a two millimeter uh, crystal which will sit right in between there we go so there we go and then I'm gonna pick up two eleven odelicas there we go And I'm gonna go ahead and go in between. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rotate that. 
until I get down and right here in between this drug bead and the very first drug bead before the Rivoli will be my last set. Then we'll be coming out of here and just like on the opposite side we're going to do the same thing. Um, if you guys remember that, go ahead and do that. Um, if not, and you want to walk, go through it with me, uh, meet me back here and we'll do it together, okay? So go ahead, finish up your embellishments on the side here. Crystal uh, 11 0 Delicas, Crystals 11 0 Delicas, and Rotate. So uh, crystal 211 old delicas crystal 211 old delicas okay and then once you get to the end meet me back and we'll go through um, the embellishment off to the side of the rivoli okay all right so now we're ready to put on our embellishment um, over here and what we're going to do is going to be a total of five crystals. And then in between each crystal will be two 11 old delicas. So let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off with, so you want to make sure you're coming out of this last drug bead here. Let me get a little close to show. There we go. So you can see I'm coming out of this drug bead. We're going to pick up all our beads and then go in through the opposite side on this side this drug bead okay and it kind of gives it the effect of uh, the Rivoli's floating that's what I was going for at least all right so let's go ahead and pick up on our beads now Whew, I still get so nervous when I'm doing these recordings these videos all right so two 11 delicas one uh, two millimeter uh, crystal Two eleven old delicas, your second two millimeter ah two millimeter crystal. All right, I'm just gonna say delicas and crystals after this because oh I can't talk anymore. All right, so I'm gonna pick up two delicas. I'm gonna pick up a third crystal. Then I'm gonna pick up two more delicas, and then a fourth crystal, and then two more eleven. Delicas and then my fifth and final crystal, and then two more of my 11 Odelicas. Now I'm going to go through the drug bead on the opposite side. Ta da! There. Whoops. I had a little bit of fuzz there. There we go. Now, after that, I'm just going to follow the same that I did on the opposite side. So, um, it's easy because now I can just look across because I want everything to be the same. For me, it may be different for you. So, you over here may have, can you see? No, my fingers are getting in the way. Let me try using the paper clip. All right. So, over here, if you have two delicas, we're going to... Uh, I'm sorry. If over here, right directly across from our next one, if you have two 11 old delicas, then you put on two 11 old delicas. If you have a crystal, you put on a crystal. So the beads right across for them will be exactly the same, okay? So go ahead, do that. Put on all your beads, okay? Until you get to the very end. So your last bead will be in between, um, right here, between these two drug beads, okay? Then meet me back here, and then I'll show you the next step, okay? All right, so, um... And do yourself a favor, um, do a little reinforcement of the embellishment and just make yourself uh, at least on one side of the band down to these uh, three beads here. And what you want to be doing is you want to be coming out of either um, this bead um, going towards the Rivoli or this bead going um, in toward the Rivoli. So whatever 
way you works on either side of the band. So we're going to do this. What we do on one side of the band, we'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to just go through each of these drop beads. And when we do, and we're going in between, we're going to pick up a two millimeter crystal and put in our embellishment. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up one two millimeter crystal, go through the drop bead. And I'm just going to go, there we go. And then I'm going to pick up another two millimeter drug bead. I'm sorry, a two millimeter crystal and go through the third drug bead. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave my way. And it doesn't hurt to do some reinforcing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave my way all the way down to the opposite end of the band, down to here. Turn around so that I'm coming out of this uh, drug bead, okay? Or if you're on this side, you want to come out this drug bead, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and go through the embellishment that I put on earlier. So I'm just going to do some reinforcement. There we go. It's a warm evening. Now well, tomorrow's supposed to be nice and cool. go so I just reinforced all those beads now I'm just gonna follow the right angle weave unit so I'm not creating any new thread path so I wind up right here there we go All right, so what I'm going to do is just all the way down, I'm going to be just like we did on the side, but we're only going to be putting in delicas, okay? And the reason why is that on the side you have a little bit more room, so you could put on the crystal crystals here inside the bracelet there's less room to maneuver so then the crystals weren't sitting correctly so that's the reason why I only put on the two 11 odelicas on the inside and it looks gorgeous it really does and as a general rule I don't usually put on this much of similar colors I tend to do a lot more contrast but um, I'm not making these for me um, I tend to make all my projects as gifts um, and I don't sell my stuff. I just make it for gifts. So th this is intended for somebody. So um, just keep that in mind when you see my videos. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing with my projects is that they end up going as gifts. So um, it just for me when I'm making something, I'm making something for someone. And that's where I get the pleasure from and it's relaxing and it just there's nothing better 
in life than knowing you're doing something for someone else. And um, it gives me that time, you know, to be able to do that. And when you see somebody open something and appreciate something you put in time and effort, it just fills you with a lot of good feelings. So um, that's why, um, you know, I, I, I'm sharing my designs um, and so forth i had a few people ask and i'm like you know there are a lot of people who've helped me out i want to turn around and pay that forward all right so back to business so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put on so i'm coming out of the first drug bead here i'm going to go over to the second drug bead and i'm just going to go ahead and put on my 11 delicas and if you notice when my thread is fairly long, I tend to not just pull the thread with my needle. I tend to, you know, once I get it through, kind of just do a gentle tug. And there's logic behind that. Um, one is that I'm making sure that my thread doesn't get all tangled and so forth. Um, and I think it just, I think we all have our unique ways of handling and I think it's just me. I think that's just how I do it. All right, so now I'm coming out of this drug bead. I'm going in through there. So I'm gonna pick up two 11 Odelicas and then just go through, do a gentle tug, make sure the beads are lying correctly. I've improved on my tension and uh, I'm happy with that. Now I just, um, just gotta keep reminding myself not to be too tight. There we go, my thread was catching on my pliers because I like to keep them close. All right, so I picked up two 11 Odelicas. I'm coming out here, I'm gonna go through there. And then I just repeat that all the way down. There we go. Making sure everything lies correctly. All right, so what you want to do is keep on doing that until you get all the way down to here, okay? So let me get my paper clip. Actually, that actually kind of helps. So put on your embellishment. So you're gonna go down and put on your last embellishment right here, okay? So you're going through this struck bead. Meet me back here. We're gonna turn around and put on the same embellishment on this side, okay? And then you will just repeat that to the other side of the band, okay? But we'll do this opposite side together as well. Okay, and then once you've done both sides, then I would recommend going through everything and reinforcing everything. So um, you don't have to go through it like tons of times, but um, wherever there's possible, if you can get through your class one more time, great. If you can get through the embellishments um, each at least two times, that's wonderful. Um, um, just make sure you're not doing it overly tight. So make sure, you know, do a little like this. It'll help kind of loosen it up so it's not too tight as you're doing your bead weaving. Okay, so meet me back here once you get down to where? And once you get down to here, okay? Meet me back here and I'll show you how to turn and we'll do the embellishment going the other direction, okay? Meet, see you soon. All right, so I finished this row of embellishments. Whoops, I finished all the way up to here. And so we are about to turn around. So I'm coming out of this drug bead. Let me just get my paper clip. I'm coming out of uh, this drug bead right here. Okay, so I'm gonna just flip it over so you can better see. And there we go. So I'm coming out right here from this drug bead. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna follow the thread path of the right angle weave to turn around. All right, 
so now I'm coming out of this drug bead and just like I did on the, this side I'm just gonna go ahead in between each drug bead I'm gonna add a uh, two 11 0 delicas so I'm gonna go ahead pick up two 11 0 delicas Make sure they're laying correctly. And then two more 11 old Delicas. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. And I'm gonna go all the way to the very end. Once I'm done with that, I've got my embellishment on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a better view for you. Hold on. So you do that all the way to the end, then you're finished with this side of the embellishment and you just need to do the embellishment on the opposite side. And it's gonna be the same thing. So you'll do your two crystals over here and then you'll do all your 11 Odelicas going up one row and then down the other row. And once you've done that, if you have room, go ahead, reinforce your class and then your embellishments that you just put on, okay? And then you're done with your bra uh, bracelet. So once you've finished all of that, do a couple of half knots and you've completed this project. And once you've done that, I would greatly appreciate if you would take a picture of it and post it in comments. Um, I would love to see how it turned out for you guys. So um, take care. Thank you again for watching my videos um, and being patient with me as I learn how to uh, create these videos. Um, I know that I still have a lot to learn, but I do appreciate you guys taking the time to join me on this journey. All right, so I look forward to seeing your projects and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, like and subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. And then um, check out some of my other videos. Take care and uh, see you soon.